on here. Good morning, kids. Welcome to the latest edition of the Kong Family Show. Uh, today we have someone really special coming on the show today. Mrs. Nazima Bacchus from, from Florida, right? You down there in yes. Florida? Yes. Awesome, yes. Sunny Florida. Oh, that is awesome. Yeah, we're well, we're real excited to have you. You know, we like to bring people in here from from the far reaches of the planet because it's all part of what our goal is. We have this really super simple goal here in the Kong family. We just want to change the world. And uh, we're doing it. We're, we're going to change the world. It's happening. It's happening right before our eyes every single day. And, um, you know, so, hey, Sean, good seeing you, buddy. Paul, great seeing you too, kids. Hope you guys are doing it, doing awesome, having a great day. But uh, anyway, so with all of that said, um, you know, Nazima, what I, what I like to first find out about everybody that comes on as a guest on the Kong Family Show is, uh, you know, the, the, it seems to me the most important aspect of, of the whole thing because um, I think it's interesting the different stories that we hear of how people got involved. How did you find out about the Kong family? Why did you decide that it was something that you needed to have in your life? And, um, you know, were you a pessimist like me and a, and a uh, skeptic like me? I know I was a huge skeptic. I cost myself six very important months of my life by not getting involved right off the bat, but I was skeptical. And so I'm always curious to hear um, what the guests have to say about that, whether they were skeptical or not, and, and just how it happened. How did you end up getting involved and getting this tremendous gift from God and Mr. Oshiro? Well, I got in through my son and he got in through his friend. His friend introduced him to it. But before that, when we first moved to Florida, that was uh, in 1989, we would listen to the talk show. I think it originated maybe from uh, Miami or Tampa area. I'm not, I cannot remember now. But this talk show host had doctors on his show that was telling you not to take the pills. Don't try not to take tablets. Any type of tablets make your body alkaline. We didn't know how to do that, but we started by changing our diets. I went more green and leafy vegetables with fish and uh, meat, but not so much meat. Our meat was limited maybe once a week but more fish and green leafy vegetables and vegetables on the whole because that's what i grew up with fish and vegetables back home in our country from my mom so it wasn't hard for us to do i maintained that diet since i came to this country but when my son we went on a cruise with my sister-in-law and my husband and a friend. And um, I came back, my blood pressure was like um, 203 over 103. It was high. I had lost both parents to strokes. And I did not want to be that victim to follow in their footsteps. So he told me, he said, Mom, I've just bought a machine that I think will help you. Don't take any pills that the doctors give you. Try not to eat too much of anything, you know, that would raise it higher. But uh, drink, drink a lot of water. So I listened. I did that until I came back to Florida. And he told me, he said, well, you're going to be the first guinea pig. We're going to try this water on you. So I started drinking. And uh, it turned out it did help my body. My body just reacted to it so nicely that uh, 
two weeks after I was surprised. So I, did, you, um, did you end up um, getting, you know, what ended up happening with your blood pressure? Did that uh, kind of come back more in line? And, and real quick, uh, Yvette, good morning. Good, Yvette Marie is here on the show with us um, in the, on the live feed. So we just want to welcome her. Thanks for coming in, Yvette. Hopefully, hopefully you guys all get some value out of this today. I know I'm getting tons of value, and so I love it. I love hearing all these stories, so this is great. But so what ended up happening with your, uh, you know, with your blood pressure and, and uh, you know, your overall energy and things like that? What do you have to say about what, it, what, you know, what your body was able to do? Well, my blood pressure, when the nurse, uh, she measured it because I was always high. I was like uh, 150 something over 80 something most times, you know, and going 160 something over 95 and things like that. And they were planning to put me on pills, but uh, when she measured it, I was 125 over 75. And I sat there, I was stunned because it, I did not expect that. I really didn't expect to get that reading so fast. I drank that water half a gallon every day for two weeks. And then I had to see my doctor and that was the result. Wow. That is so mm -hmm. awesome to hear. And so what, so how long have you been, um, been involved with, with Kong's water and how, you know, how long have you been drinking it? How, um, uh, my son actually, bought his machine in um, 2016 in November. So in December, December to January, I started drinking that water and I've been drinking it ever since. And I bought a machine for myself <laughs> in March, 2017. So it's two years now. Oh. And I've, and I've seen lots of benefits for my body. That is fantastic. Would you care to um, share some of those benefits that you've that you've experienced with with our listeners? It's um, well, of course, I'm able to keep my blood pressure level. You know, it fluctuates. It goes up a little bit. It comes back, and I find see that when I don't drink enough water it will tend to rise. And then, of course, I'll start drinking much more. But I've seen, I, I lived in Germany with my husband and my children for quite a few years. And when I came back, the doctors at the um, military hospital, I broke up, broke out in hives, really bad hives. And when I had gone to see him, he told me, he said, well, now I'm allergic to the sun, that I have to take protective clothes, uh, wear protective clothing when I'm outside. So if I mistake and I go outside in the heat, in the hot sun for less than half an hour, I'm red and itchy all over. But coming back inside, I would use that water and I would put it on my skin. I would sap it and let it air dry. And it eases that itch. I would no longer itch. It stopped the itching. Bites, ant bites. You, Florida is noted for ants and mosquitoes. <laughs> yes. And any ant bites or mosquito bites and this the itching i use the water it's gone which water do you use just curious about um, that i use i actually do not go for the um 2.5 strong acidic i use the 4.5 that comes out from the gray hose mm -hmm. when you draw the 9.5 because i always keep it there already in the sink it's always there to be used oh. so any cuts anything my husband uh, we were fixing our bathroom and the screwdriver went in my finger it bled 
He said, do you want to go to the doctor to get some stitches? I said, well, uh, that's going to cost money. Um, I don't want to spend any money. Let me try the water. So I put my finger in the water and that's only 4.5. It wasn't the 2.5. I let it stay there in that water for maybe 20 minutes. The, uh, the bleeding stopped. I was able to squeeze my finger, no blood came out, and I didn't have to put a Band-Aid on it. Wow. That's it, was just, it, 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 just, it was just miraculous. <laughs> oh. you know, that's, so, that's the cool thing that a lot of people that are out there that have never heard of Kong or if they're, they're you know, tuning in and they're, they're uh, not sure exactly what they can use things for. That's one of the beautiful things about this is we get to learn some things that people do um, or all the different ways because, you know, the Congan water machine makes a whole bunch of different kinds of water that can be used for all different kinds of things. And so that's pretty of cool. Course. Learning yeah. that, that you can use the 4.5 water that way. Um, and that's, uh, that's, that's a neat thing to learn. I'm going to, I'm going to have to talk to my, my sweetie about that. She's got this little rash that she can't seem to get rid of. And she's been trying all kinds of stuff that hasn't been working. And so maybe I'm going to, Maybe I'm going to share your secret with her and, uh, and see, see if the 4.5 helps her better than the 2.5 and the 11.5 is what she's been trying and it hasn't really been effective. But, uh, you know, I just think that, that usually the water is the solution to whatever the problem is, you know, because your body is designed to heal itself. And when it gets what it needs, then it, it does that. It heals itself and it's miraculous to, um, to a lot of people. But to me, it's just par for the course. It's the way it works. Your body gets what it needs and it fixes itself. Just like when you get a cut, that cut fixes itself. You don't necessarily need to go to the doctor. And so, no, I, I mean, it has to be really deep before you think about going to the doctor because the water really helps it. It, it, whatever it is, it kills the bacteria and it heals the wound. And then it's clean sailing. You just and I continue drinking the water. It has actually helped my granddaughter. She was since she was a baby. She was forever at the doctor, at the pediatrician. Every month, without fail, she is sick. She catches a cold. She is. Uh, we were at wit's end with her. And when we got the machine, my son, well, he did have, he got the R and then a 501. I have a 501. And um, so I gave my daughter the R and I told her, I said, have both girls start drinking this water. Give it to them. They drink the 9.5. They don't, I I started them out with 8.5, but then I'm drinking 9.5. And whatever I'm drinking, they grab the bottle and they drink. I just bought this from um, the Enagic store for my daughter for work. <laughs> the little one confiscated it. So I have to get two more. One for my <laughs> daughter and one for the other one. Because it is it is so good. It's she, And she knows. They know that whatever nanny drinks is good for them. So if they are playing outside, I have the water on the table and they come in, they open it, they drink, they go back outside. They're full of energy all the time. Yesterday we were, uh, they had a um, field trip to Legoland and boy were they full of energy because I walked with a whole gallon of water. We used half of it, and I actually gave the other half to two uh, visitors that went to Legoland. And I told them, I said, try it, you know. And uh, she said she will, and she's going to tell her mom about, you know, how the water helps the body to heal itself because her mom has a lot of issues. So... You know, word of mouth, you just, you talk to them, you explain, uh, which is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get out of my shell 
<laughs> because I've never been exposed to this, uh, what a social media, whatever you call it. I've never been exposed to that. And, um, you know, I grew up a very sheltered life. I mean, I lost my dad when I was 12. And my mom stayed longer. I was 40 when, about 40 when she died. But they both end up dying from strokes. And it wasn't that we didn't, we ate basically vegetables a lot. But things could have been better. And I actually could have saved myself had I known about this water years ago. I could have saved myself from losing my um, gallbladder. Yes. I, we were traveling, my husband and I, we were traveling, going to New Jersey. And we stayed over at a hotel in... Um, South Carolina, and um, we had dinner. We went back to the hotel, and uh, I started throwing up. I was vomiting like crazy. As a child, I remembered my mom, when my brother took in with his appendix, he couldn't straighten his legs. So that thought came to me. I said, maybe it's my appendix. Uh, I tried to straighten my legs, and I did. So th that ruled out that. But I had emptied my stomach, and there was nothing left. And I still, I was vomiting and vomiting like crazy. I had to go emergency to the hospital. They said I'm a candidate for, they never gave me the chance or a solution a different solution than surgery. Maybe you can go to the store, have your husband go to the store and, you know, buy something that will help soothe the body. The very next day I had surgery for my gallbladder mm -hmm. because they said it was so inflamed. If I travel to New Jersey, I might die on the way. And I guess I was stupid enough to believe that too. I don't know. So now I have, I don't really have problems, but your gallbladder helps to, you know, uh, take care of the digestion with the food. So now I have to mm, drink other things like uh, I would drink um, juice before I eat. So the acid in that helps with my you know, when the food goes into the stomach, it helps to break it down. Mm -hmm. And I don't drink the water then because I needed it to break down. Yes. So, we can, you know, I can get the full benefit. I am finding ways and means of going around, but I tell you, I cannot do without this water. Last week, we uh, had a deep clean and... Um, we had water for a couple of days. It's an hour drive away from our home to the office to get more water. My one, my neighbor that has a machine wasn't home, so it wasn't close by. And um, we did without that water. I drank juices, and things, but it took a toll. As soon as I got the machine, we hooked it up and water was there. Thank God. <laughs> it's it, it's it is not something it is something i'm proud of that my body cannot do without it i have to have that water and not any type of water but that kangen water yes i have to have that people do not believe me but it's good for the body it is so good for the body for your health oh my goodness that is so heartwarming to me, you know, because I, I lost my mother back in 1990. And uh, my mother was a, 
an example of somebody that she had a sixth grade education because she could never stay healthy enough long enough to make it through school years. So she was always in the hospital for this, that, and the other. And, and the doctors, they're, as I call them doctors, they, um, all their, their solutions were always to cut this out, cut that out. And here, here's some more pills, here's some more bills. And that's what they did. She had scars all over her body. She, every time she'd turn around, they were cutting something else out. Ah, oh, God didn't put that there for any reason. Let's just cut that out of here. You know, you don't I know. need that. Every, but everything <laughs> in the body is there for a reason. Yeah, exactly. We were given all those organs for a reason. And when they start cutting it out, it's not right because then you have to substitute something else to replace that. Yeah, that's exactly the truth. And so it's, you know, I feel the same way. I believe that my mother would still be here with me today had I known about this water. It was available. I would have probably had to go get it from Japan and smuggle it in or something to get it. But, and it would have been all a Japanese lettering. I'd have to learn how to, you know. <laughs> I yes, yes. don't want that pretty lady saying, but uh, you know, if I'd have been able to get my mom to drink this water, I believe she would still be here with me, barring some sort of catastrophic, uh, traumatic, you know, accident or something like that. But it would have given her body what it needed to be able to heal itself instead of always going to the doctor. And she, when she passed away, she was on 22 different medications uh, that she was eating every day, and it, she developed a cyst on the backside of one of her kidneys that poisoned her spinal fluid, turned her into a vegetable, and in four days, my mother was gone. And I'll never forget the, you know, it's been all these years, that was clear back in 1990, and I was, it's the vision of her in that hospital bed will forever be etched in my brain cell. And, uh, you know, uh, one thing for you real quick, um, the uh, as far as your deep cleaning are concerned let's hook up and i'll teach you how to how you can deep clean yourself at home without having to send your machine off without having to pay any money it's really simple all you got to do is get yourself a submersible aquarium pump and i'll show you how you can do it it's real simple and you don't have to go without your water honey you can't be, yeah, it's so good. <laughs> that, oh, that, that's so good. that would be great that would be great <laughs> yes i'll teach you how to do that so yeah we'll We'll do that um, real soon. But, you know, you have, have really already answered what, was, what is normally my next question, which is what, you know, what kind of things have happened in your life, you know, as far as things that have happened, uh, you know, with people's health and that kind of stuff. But I've got a question to ask you at this point that I'm, I'm really curious about. You, you obviously are very passionate about this water, as we all are. And um, you, you, it sounds like you're sharing it with people and that kind of stuff, trying to tell people about it, giving them the water to drink and that. And so usually what happens out there is when we share this water out with other people and they start drinking it, they start deciding that, hey, they need their machine too. And uh, the cool thing is, is in magic, they give us a nice little paycheck every time we refer somebody to get their own machine. And so has, um, has uh, the, the, the Enagic and the Kong company had... Uh, had any effect on you in that regards as far as the business side of the of it? Uh, yes, my machine is completely paid for. So I actually have a free machine. Whatever I paid for it, I've gotten it all right back. So it's completely free. And uh, I'm happy for that because I tell people, uh, you know, uh, Okay, fine. You say it's expensive. It's expensive now, but think about your health. And everyone you share the water with, you know, think of what it's going to do for them. I, oh, I go on Facebook. I'm, because of Kong and Water, I am now on Facebook. I've never, ever been exposed to that. I never did any computer uh, you know, studies. My children know computers. They know how to do everything. Uh, but the tip of their finger is goes so fast. I look at it and I, I'll never be able to do that. I don't, you know, and I don't want to. But I look at all these things that people write, and this one has this cancer and that cancer and that cancer. I 
do tell people, I said, just change your water, change the way you eat and drink, and you'll be so surprised at what will happen with your body. Yeah. God gave us this body that we can heal it. We can heal it by ourselves, naturally, just by changing our water. <laughs> I love it. Well, that is so fantastic. I'm happy to hear that... Uh, the, the, the Enagic is, you know, the, the Kong, the big family that it is, has not only helped you with your health, but it, uh, it's helped you with your wealth a little bit. And hopefully, as, you know, not hopefully, it's going to change your life so much more over the coming years um, as you continue to share the magic and share the truth. And so that's, uh, that's really exciting. I'm, I'm, I'm also happy to hear that you, that you jumped on the Facebook and, uh, <laughs> you know, started learning this, uh, you know, digital world. Now you're right there with your grandkids. <laughs> <laughs> well, my, I think my two granddaughters know a little bit more and they're only eight and seven. They know a little bit more about the, these phones than I do. <laughs> And they they know how to find things and it, it's unbelievable what they do it in school you know I we were never exposed in our lifetime with those things and um, it's and one other thing I want to tell you my husband was um, for years he um, he had to take omeprazole for heartburn all the time. Um, I, I, I would say like for um, maybe 15, over 20 years. And when he started drinking this water, it changed. It changed his body so much that um, first, uh, it's not going to help. You know, it's not going to do anything. And uh, he got diarrhea a little bit. And then he stopped drinking the water. And then he started back with it again. And um, no more pills. No. He's completely awful pills. So uh, for his stomach, you know, it's, um, it's a savior. It really is. I know, I can tell you from firsthand experience that that's, that's what happened for me too. Cause I used to have heartburn all the time. I, I was always having to take different heartburn medications. I just thought that was just normal. You know, it's normal to have to eat Tums. It's normal to have to drink Maalox or whatever, you know, it's just normal. It's not a health problem. That is that you got to do if you don't want heartburn, you know, and it's so ridiculous because I haven't, in over two years, I haven't had any heartburn whatsoever, and and I and, like, uh, changed my diet or anything either. I've just been drinking the water, and that's that's all I've done. So but. that that that's that's it because um, we eat. I know Americans on the whole do not eat hot stuff. We eat hot peppers. <laughs> Every. Every meal we make, it has to have pepper. <laughs> I mean, it's not not a lot, but mm -hmm. you know the, the the taste is there. It has to have so much. I am trying to ingrate my granddaughters with spicy foods and the 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 little bit of pepper in it, so that when they grow up, they're not into that bland diet. You know. <laughs> because it, it, does, it, it, it helps the body, you know, it, it gives a taste. I cannot eat a bland food. No, <laughs> I have to have my pepper. And it's so, uh, and my husband, he eats the pepper now. Before, actually, when I came to this country, I came here in the 70s and um, I had to steam. Uh, squash and butternut squash no no onions no garlic nothing just steam it and uh he'll eat it just with a little bit of butter everything had to be steamed until we got this water 
And uh, that was it. <laughs> no, nothing is steamed. Everything has pepper. Everything is spicy. And it's good. <laughs> I love it. That's so classic. You know, when we get to Florida, we're going to have to come see you. My sweetie, she's going to love eating your food. She loves spicy hot food. Now me, I can only handle a little bit of spicy. So I might need to have you cook me something a little bit different. <laughs> Hold out on just a little bit of that stuff for Jay because he's going to, his, his brain's going to explode. His mouth's going to burn. <laughs> But it, it, we do not put that much to wear, but it is. But after the thing is, is after you've trained yourself to actually, you know, you you start eating it at a little at a time, you get accustomed to it, and it's not so hot anymore. And the funny thing is, anybody that eats hot peppers and their mouth is burning don't go for cold water nothing cold drink a nice hot cup of tea like the arabs do drink <laughs> hot tea oh and another thing we have been saving so much money with we are tea persons because our country was governed by the british so of course no coffee everything was tea and uh any any type of tea we drink you save so much money just using this water and making your tea it tastes so good and you use less tea it one tea bag goes for two of us instead of you normally you will use one tea bag per person one tea bag is for myself and my husband so I'm saving that is you know that that's so perfect because that, that that's another thing I just love so much about having this platform and being able to meet people like you because you know we get to learn things like everybody that's going to be listening to this that that has that issue with being able you know with with eating spicy hot foods hey <laughs> you just learn something new, a new way to deal with the spicy hot foods when you eat too much of them. Or, and, um, you know, you also learn, because, see, one of the things that I always say, Nazima, is um, Kong doesn't cost. He pays. No. He pays. It pays you. Yes. It pays you. And, you know, once your machine is paid off, then he really pays because it's it's so minimal the expense to keep it clean the expense to pay for a new filter the expense to get the electrolysis enhancer it's so minimal that uh you know and there's little tricks to the trade that the family shares with each other and that kind of stuff that help us decrease those expenses even more and so the amount of money that it costs you for kong is nothing compared to the amount of money that kong pays you and um and so yeah that's that's such a an exciting thing and and yeah you you wanting to say something go ahead let it out <laughs> well the the amount of money the, oh, it's nice. the price the price of remember nazima <laughs> <Hi. laughs> love you honey have a great day it's cold out there but it's warm in florida yeah it's probably warmer for you <laughs> Yeah, now that now that it's towards lunchtime, it's warming up. But this morning was very chilly. Um, <laughs> the the cost people look at the cost of the machine. Fine, it looks like it's a big item, but think of uh, you going to buy a car. You don't buy. Most people try not to buy a cheap car. They want the best. And they do pay for it in installments. So the same way that you, but the car doesn't, it takes you from point A to point B. It doesn't give you anything. Now, on the other hand, you get a machine, the Kong, Kong and water machine, and it gives your body something. It just, it makes you healthy. Drinking it. I mean, you have to drink water. So if you have to drink water, why not drink the best? And it's, it's so simple. It is so simple. 
Yeah, you know, it took me two years, but I was finally able to recoup all that I paid for my machine. You know, it's so it's it's doable. It's very very doable. Yes, amen. Well, that is such a that's that, this is just great stuff today. I'm sure appreciative of you coming on here with me today because you are offering truly some golden nuggets to the people that are that are going to be listening to this, that are listening now. And our buddy Thomas Warden and Julio, Dr. Julio, they're listening on the other side. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so they're, we appreciate them being here. And uh, Marilyn's on here. Marilyn, good to see you, honey. I hope you're getting some value out of this like I know I am. And uh, so that's going to move me on to my next question that I love to ask um, all of our guests here on the Kong Family Show. And that is, you you have somebody that's potentially interested in joining the Kong family and you get an opportunity to say something to them about the water, about the company, about whatever you whatever it is. But here's the catch. You only get one thing to say. You only get one thing that you get to say to somebody. What do you say to them? If you would like to be healthy, to have a better lifestyle, to be able to not have to be in bed at the hospital all the time or to avoid going to the hospital, I would say try your best to change your water. Try to get a machine because getting this machine you will change your life so much and all for the better so so much better it, it, you'll be so surprised i i've had two back surgeries i couldn't um walking taking long walks with my left foot because um the my pain was so excruciating that i and i did that i went for a colonoscopy because my brother-in-law had cancer and his pain used to be so bad that i thought maybe you know i've got cancer so i went for that because i didn't the doctors, the neurosurgeons that I visited, they couldn't really find out. They asked me where my pain was. Was it in my back? My pain wasn't in my back. My pain was in my butt. It's like somebody was taking a knife in there and just turning it. It was so bad that when the pain hit me, I would just stand there. I couldn't move a muscle. Mm -hmm. And they did back their surgery on me. I'm grateful for that because it has helped me. But the nerves on my left foot were so bad that long walks, I wasn't able to lift my foot up anymore. If I walk half a mile, I couldn't lift my foot up. It would be so painful at the side and behind my knees, everything. Now, like yesterday, I was walking without pain. <laughs> I, uh, you know, and I did not take any tablets. I didn't take anything. I just walked with my water yesterday. That's all we drank with whatever else we walked. I can't say no. You know, everybody, that, a lot of people I've talked to, well, the water can't do that. The water cannot do that. But when you drink it, your body is able to heal. If you give your body the right food, the right water, it has the ability to heal itself. So why not 
you know, and I say again, why not drink the best water there is? Get a Kangen machine. I love it. That is, you know, every time I ask that question, I always get some really powerful, you know, response that is, uh, you know, it's going to resonate with people. Um, I know when, uh, when Tina and I met you the other night, um, for a little kind of a practice session of what we were going to be doing today. Um, she said to me, she said, boy, she sure reminds me of Soila because we have a really dear, a very dear friend, Soila Rolf, who lives down in, uh, she lives down in, um, Flagstaff, Arizona, but she's from Mexico. And, um, you know, it's amazing how much, uh, she reminded you remind us of her and um uh, you know so you never know when she when she gets the chance to see this this replay down the road that you're you know you may end up um you may very well resonate with her and uh you you know your your testimony your your information that you've been so gracious to give us today you know may very well change her life and it may very well change a a lot of other people's lives and and one of my goals here with the Congan family is to is to help the Congan family share themselves share their testimony share their their information share their successes share their failures um, because you just never know who your story is going to resonate with um, as this goes because this is going is getting recorded, it's going to go on YouTube. It's it's going to be a link that you're going to be able to take and share out if you would like to, um, and we're going to be sharing it all over the place. And who knows who's going to watch this? It, I know it was a story that got me to take a look. Because all these people who say no, they all have one thing in common: they won't take a look. They won't actually do their research. They and they and that's why they don't understand how important it is for them to get this machine is because they won't look they they have a block and sometimes it requires a story that hits them right in the heart and that's that's what gets them to to you know proverbial pull their head out and make a wise choice for once you know <laughs> and so one thing i'd love you to you you've got something you want to say so go ahead and say it it's People are very close-minded. Close they do not want to open their minds to something different. Let me try something else. If the doctor says, this is what we have to do, they, okay, yes, this is what they'll do. They will not go to an alternative way. So many people are so wrong in you know, thinking that they cannot heal themselves by doing what is right. I lost two of my brother-in-laws to cancer. I wish I knew about this water early in the early 2000s. I so wished it. It's, and I know one would have, on the, had we known about it and told him right away, off the bat. He would have gotten it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's part of the the hard part of it for us is that we, once you know the truth, once you learn the truth, it's really hard not to share it, and it's heartbreaking when you see people who refuse to look at the truth or you simply didn't know about it. You know, it's kind of heartbreaking because I know one of the biggest obstacles that I have with this company is all the people that are friends that I love that I dear that you know friends family. Um, people that I don't even really know, um, hearing that they're going in for surgery or they're, they've got this health issue or that health issue or whatever. And I just look at it and go, it's so preventable. It's so sad. It really hurts because I hate being, seeing people suffer. That's a big part of my goal with this is to every day, seven days a week, I want to be sharing these stories. I want to be sharing stuff that's going to wake people up. That's going to bring value to people's lives. And, um, you know, one thing, one question I did have for you real quick is where you came to the United States from another country. What company, country did you come from? Guyana. When I was born, it was British Guyana, but since they got their independence and uh, we, um, oh, uh, 
yeah we we are um oh i've forgotten so <laughs> um we got our independence in 63 and from then on we started seeing a difference it started the country started going downhill so everybody from left to right everybody was trying to leave and uh, we um we left there i was a teacher uh, back home i taught for three years and then i left came over here i wanted to teach over here what the first set of news when i looked at the tv and the news they were stabbing this teacher and they were shooting that teacher and uh it turned me off right away uh, i said no i don't i don't think i can be in that situation um i haven't you know and uh you know maybe it's for the right reasons because i love helping people and this is one product that if they get it it will help them i feel so satisfied when i help people get a machine they a one person that actually got it she was buying the alkaline water from the store she has problems with her heart and um when i gave her the water i actually gave her husband the water and uh, she's uh, you know she said well, she gave you this water why she said uh, she said mrs back has just told me to drink it for us to drink it and see how we like it and she said she kept looking at the water and looking at the bottle until she couldn't bear it anymore she opened the bottle and she started drinking <laughs> and she said but this water tastes so good because when you drink it you want to drink more and more it doesn't fill you up somehow even you drink it it just dissipates in your body it goes right away to everything in your body you know there's nothing there's no jiggle or anything when you drink a bottle of water a, from a bottled water uh you drink that water it stays in your stomach for so long you burp and the water actually would want to come out from your mouth this one you drink it and you keep drinking and it goes down and then Five minutes later, you want to drink more. Yeah. <laughs> it, 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 it's so uh, people don't believe, you know. But the few that I have been able to give, they drink the water and they like it. They said, but it doesn't fill me up. And so they just continue drinking. Yeah, that's that's exactly the way it happens and. You know the science behind it. For anybody that wants to know it, it's uh, it's real simple, and it, there's a reason why it does that, and it has to do with the size of the molecule and the electricity, and and the fact that your body is an electrical machine that runs on hydrogen, and so, you know, those little things are are part of the reason why it all happens the way it does, and why it's so effective in helping our bodies heal themselves, and uh, you know, so. We've now been going for about 45 minutes, and um, I want to ask you, uh, you know, one final question, or really, it's a, it's not really a question so much as it is, I, I love to give my guests the opportunity to, to introduce themselves, to give their contact information, and the reason for that is because, like I said a little bit earlier, you never know who, who's going to resonate with who, because there might be somebody out there that that they think it's a scam or whatever and then they they decided to tune into this because they got urged to do it or whatever they just saw it come across their news feed or something and so they they jump in and decide to listen in and and uh they go wow this nazima she's she's awesome i want to i want to work with her i want to get a common water machine from her i want to i want to learn from her because she is indeed a teacher She's just not the kind of teacher that she had planned on being. She's a better teacher, a more powerful teacher, a more amazing teacher, and I want to work with her. So if 
if that person, and I shouldn't even say if, when that person has that situation where they want to get a hold of you, how do they do it? How can they get a hold of you? you whatever information you want to give them, whether you want to give them a website, Facebook name, uh, telephone number, whatever it is, I want you to give them whatever contact information that you would like to give out just so that if somebody does want to get together with you, um, that they can. Well, my telephone number is uh, 386-837-1994. And they can get hold of me on Facebook or Messenger. Uh, Oops, we lost you. We lost your sound. The, uh, WhatsApp. I do have that downloaded too so but i'm basically on messenger so what and what can you give them your your facebook and messenger handle again because that car, part got cut out okay it's uh nazima bacchus and i'm on messenger and it's uh, my telephone number is 386-837-1994 awesome and it's nazima n-a-z-e-e-m-a -E 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 and Bacchus is B A C C H U S H U S. Awesome. Okay. Well, that's fantastic. Well, um, Nazima, I can't tell you how thankful I am for you coming on today because your story just resonates so much with me and my mom. And you know, every day I miss my mother so much. And, and I you, think we all do. Yeah. And you, you know, you remind me of my mother. And uh, your story is so, it's just heartwarming because, you know, quite frankly, if you didn't get this water in your life, you know, what was going to end up happening is you're just going to end up having one thing removed after another, after another, after another, until, until finally the doctors do what they do, which is kill people, which is why yeah. I don't like doctors. And, um, you know, I don't do doctors. I don't go to doctors. I, you know, when I, I refer to doctors and doctors. And doctors are people like Dr. Michael and Dr. Barry Ah, and uh, these kinds of doctors that look for naturopathic cures and natural cures. And their their answer isn't always another pill and another bill and another surgery. And, um, you know, quite frankly, for me, I've had it with those kinds of doctors. And that's a big part of us changing the world is showing people how they can just say no to doctors. And... Uh, you know, so it's it's exciting and it's heartwarming uh, to have the blessing of having folks like you, you know, give your, your precious time to, you know, be so gracious and, and come here and teach us some things that we can learn, that we can pass along to others. And, you know, it's all part of our mission of, of changing the world. And so, you know, with all of that, I would like to give you one last opportunity to, you know, just whatever, whatever it is, like I told you in the beginning, you know, just come from your heart, whatever you've got in your heart, just let it out. That, that heart, it's a big, strong muscle and, and it can put things out. And so do you have anything that you would like to say to end, end the show with one last important message or whatever that you would like to tell our guests before we sign off? I, I would say your health is, your health is, a choice it's your body you have to take care of it and uh, the, the way i know how that i took care of mine is by getting the right water start drinking the right water and if you give your body the tool that it needs then your body is able to help itself and you can live a long and fruitful life. Hopefully, we all have to die someday. But I would like to die without being in the hospital, without being in hospice, and without being bedridden. I would so love to have that. So I think one of the main reasons why I invested in this water is just to keep my body healthy. So at least I am home when I'm ready to go, when the good Lord is ready for me. 
I love it. That is so precious. And uh, yeah, that's, that's exactly how I want to do it as well. I, I want to live like the Hunza Coots. And yes. uh, yes. know, they, just, they just live, live, live their whole life. And then one day they just don't wake up. <laughs> you know, they, don't, they don't suffer from any sicknesses or any kind of health issues or anything like that. And so it's really, it's really precious and it's powerful. And, um, you know, I just want to say thank you so much for coming on here today. This is one of the more powerful episodes of the show that we've put on. And it's all because of you being so willing to come here and share with us and be that incredible teacher that you're going to continue to be forever. And so, yes, I, uh, I look forward to having you on again in the future. If you, if you ever feel the desire that you'd like to, you know, come share some stories with us or share some great experience or anything like that, you just reach out to me and, and let me know you'd like to come back on the show again. And, and you know what else I'd love to do? is I'd love to meet your son. I want to tell your son how much I love him for, for introducing you to this water, for doing what I wish I would have been able to do for my mother. And I'd really love to have him on the show. And so if you wouldn't mind reaching out to him and asking him if he'd be willing to come on here with us, I'd sure appreciate that uh, because I bet, your, I bet your son has some, some real powerful stories to share with us as well. And so... You know, I, I just want to thank you once again for taking your time to come on here. And I look forward to having you on again in the future. I look forward to seeing you on Facebook and seeing you in the morning motivations and and uh, keep in touch. And um, <laughs> so um, that uh, pretty much does it for us today, kids. I want to thank everybody who came in on the, on the, the live feed on the Kong family page. And um, I want to thank all of those who watch this as time goes by when it gets shared out. And, uh, you know, God bless you all. And, uh, you know, as usual, don't forget your hugs. Yes. You guys have yourself a very blessed day. And we love you. And um, take care. Have a great weekend. And, and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. You're welcome, dear. Have a great day. You too. Bye for now.